Hi, it's my time to shine. I'm about to see the energy. My food is basically done just like it a little more crispier. Then I'm going to take a break because I got to put something in my system. And probably do a few more readings too. I get tired. Bottom of the deck is a failed victory in the situation. Um, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo don't mean it's going to be the reading, but... I mean, sometimes a failed victory is for to protect you. You got to think that way. Listen, I know after these last couple, three days, finding out one of my bulls had a heart attack, then didn't even know in November, then finding out some shit on my way. Like, I don't know what to say no more. don't know what to say i just ask i just thank the divine for just keeping me and letting me do what i'm doing for many purpose and i just thank god that i'm on the right track and i i ask the divine to keep me on the track keep me healthy keep my family healthy like do what you may because he had the last say but Keep me sane and alive. What is the energy? Wow. Five of Wands is some confusion. It could be some confusion wrapped. Damn, all these cards came out again. And I shuffle good. Like, damn, with the Empress. Sagittarius, Aries, Leo, energy. Taurus, Capricorn, and Libra. Somebody kinging in their pinnacle. I said Kim the pinnacles. Crack the fuck up. In their pinnacles, Capricorn, Aries, Taurus. And it's like somebody want to offer you a bunch of bullshit. But they a snake. And they going to act like they want to build something with you. They shysty with the Knight of Swords. They coming in fast. They hoping and wishing for something. Aquarius energy. It's going to be judgment with this situation. You got everything you need to make something happen. So watch out for somebody coming to you. I hear something. I want to look. Sound like they know too close to my vehicle. Give me a second. I'll be watching here and everything. I don't trust nobody. I watch it all. You have to. In this world. I just watch everything. Sorry, everybody, but the, the shit I've been going through, you guys see shit. I don't trust nobody. I don't care if I was living in Malibu. I want to get done this reading because my food. Oh, what's going on? I mean, to do it all the way up there. Just need to go up. And I need to come up. Okay. Back to the read. We have the page of cups reverse. So this is somebody that's like got an empty cup, but they got a cup filled of like watery shit. Like this is somebody that don't know what they want to be. But this could be somebody coming up out of that energy of being just one thing. Like you dress during the day, they a girl at night, they a man. They high and it's a lot of bullshit with them. Like it's what you've seen in the past. Queen of Pentacles fucking bottom line. <laughs> Capricorn energy is here. Hey, you see the amendments here. That remind me of me. Queening in your pinnacles. Focusing on what you need to. Present energy. Yeah, you moving fast. Let's see what you moving fast. Yeah, you moving fast from a, a partnership, relationship, or friendship with somebody. Um, or you already have. Me, I already have with multiple people. The relationship had too many ups and downs to continue. It wasn't divinely guided. That friendship, that partnership, or that relationship. And it was hard for you to, like, turn your back on this situation. But you have to. It's the overall energy. So I'm going to go clarify. I don't even know what to clarify. Because it seems like the overall energy is, like, you don't want to turn your back. And I'm going to clarify the Eight of Cups. Yeah. 
The night of rise, somebody can't make something happen, something not happening. I see that you got the truth and clarity out of something, and you went to happiness. So you did turn your back, but it took a tower moment for you to really turn your back on the, on these people or this person. Like, yeah, now you feel as though like, like you got the whole world in your hands because these first people wasn't given and taken in this friendship, relationship, or a partnership, bottom line. And their money was coming in slow, or yours could have been coming in slow because you was dealing with this. And you came up out of rest, retreat and praying because of this person. Yeah, you split it. You you split it, some partnership, some relationship, or friendship because somebody kind of hurt your heart. It could have been anything, but you got judgment out of this. And you coming up out of all that confusion, and you coming up out of that backstabbing betrayal. Yeah, and luck wasn't on your side when you was dealing with these people. Now you balanced. And you cut people to fuck off. And you able to build everything back up. That's what I'm seeing. And that's that's a good that's a good energy. So I'm gonna leave that right there. That was that was quick. Yeah. That could have been for a Capricorn. Don't know. I'm not gonna label it, but I wanna see what the Oracle come and then I'm gonna go check on my food. But yeah. You you cut that shit off. You ain't really wanna turn your back on it though. But you had to. Because it's like, what to stay around for? Motherfuckers is just trying to use you. Your emotions is all over the place. But you you turned your back and went to happiness. And you've been right ever since. And that's me. It's been months now. I'm loving it. Uh-uh. People built on a different fabric than what I am. I had to realize that. Ten of Cups, bottom fucking line. You went straight to fucking happiness and you just had the sun. Like, what more do I have to say? Look, damn, angel number seven came up again. Somebody need to look that up and see what the divine is trying to tell them. And trust divine, he never betrayed you, right? You dealt with people that was really betraying you. And you got it together. It was like, man, listen, fuck you. Bottom line, you was like, fuck you. That's what you got to do to people. And sometimes it's hard to turn your back. Believe me, I know about turning your back is hard as shit out of a relationship, partnership, or friendship. Because you're like, damn. But they snakes. They are what they are. You got to turn your back on them, motherfuckers. When a motherfucker don't give and you give and love like you love and they shisty and just take it all about them, you cut them motherfuckers off. And whatever you did for them, whatever, let them have that, whatever. But just never do what the fuck again. Act like you don't exist. That's how I'm rolling. Leave them motherfuckers out in the woods. God's going to bless you with new friends, new partnerships, new relationships. What is the energy surrounding this read at this time? Universe, spirit, guide, holy angels. They can they try popped in my hands, so fuck it. I love myself enough to walk away. Yeah, you walked away from a friendship relationship or French, a friendship re relationship or partnership. Yeah, you walked away because you realized it wasn't worth your time. It wasn't it wasn't serving you. It was one one sided. They was just taken while you giving. You did not break me. Yeah, they didn't break you. They tried. They probably was even gossip about you. Like this could be any situation. I've been struggling lately. Yeah, they they may be struggling a little bit too. This is this is kind of what they know. Maybe maybe that's why something didn't go in your favor with this person, but that's not your business. Your body language says so much. Yeah. You start peeping people body language and you just cut them off. You're like, man, fuck you. That's how you got to do it. You can't live for others. Let them deal with their own shit. What is the energy surrounding this read at this time? What is the energy surrounding this read at this time? What's the energy surrounding this read at this time? What's the energy surrounding this week at this time? These cards got to learn that. Damn, one came out. Damn, and this came popping out too. I'm going to give it to you. This probably is a Capricorn read because what came out. So I might label it that. There's no way this came out. Bum bitch energy. You could have been dealing with a female that was really a bum bitch. Like, they acting like they divas or acting like this. But they're really bum bitches. Bum bitches do corny shit. Bum bitches don't give and take. You could have been dealing with a bum nigga that act like a bitch, too. So, you take what resonates, you need the rest. And then what come out with you is the devil. This is Capricorn. Or you could have been dealing with somebody, they, they got all devil tendencies. That's what they are. This could be for the Capricorn. This could just, this, this could just be... 
You know the energy that they portray, the energy that's around them is bumbage energy and the devil. With that energy by itself, yeah, you got to run from them. And it was pulling you. That's why you couldn't you couldn't move away. Like it was like pulling you back, pulling you back because the devil, that's the energy they they have. It kept pulling, pulling you back. Capricorn kept pulling, pulling you. Pulling you. And you already know this relationship wasn't right. It had too many ups and downs, but kept pulling you back to it. This the motherfuckers was, 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 was doing the day they was this and night they this. Like, and you move fast away from that shit and you had the magician that make that shit happen. And you got judgment from that shit. It's something that you wished and hoped for. Bottom line, you gotta just cut motherfuckers off. They will pull your energy. That's why I got that cut inside thing done. And I haven't had my energy pulled over. I don't feel it. I was feeling the drain. I don't feel drained like that. I don't, and I'm going to have to do that probably every couple of months just because what I'm doing with readings. But yeah, cut them a fuck off, keep it moving. Peace, I am blessed to all.